In this video, we'll find the voltage due to an arc of charge. And if you orient this, doesn't really matter which way you orient it, but we'll do it so it's symmetric about the x-axis here. So this is the line of charge and we want V here. The linear charge density will be given lambda. So that's the charge over the length. And you'll recognize this because it'll be in coulombs per meter. And the formula for the voltage due to a continuous charge distribution is kdq over r. Now remember this is a scalar quantity, so there are no r hats, there's no r squared, that was for the electric field. Okay, but we do the similar thing that we did for finding electric fields due to continuous charge distributions. We break our line into little bits of charge dq. The geometry will be that we'll have a, a little bit of angle here d theta, and the length will be an arc length ds. So we can write lambda, the charge, little bit of charge over the little bit of length. And so it's dq and an arc length is r d theta. So this is how we get rid of the dq in the integral. We write lambda r d theta, the r's cancel, lambda's constant, and you get k lambda, the integral of d theta. Well, integrating all the d thetas, this is just the total angle subscribed by that line of charge. And so we'll just call that theta. And so the voltage due to any arc of charge is just K lambda theta. Now I gotta be real careful, theta has to be in radians. Can't put degrees into that formula. So if you happen to have a semicircle of radius R, well then theta would be pi. And so V would just be K lambda pi. Okay, that's all we need here.